Hello children, how are you? I hope you all are well and are not going out to play. When everything comes at standstill, our learning cannot stop. For that, I, Isha, welcome you all in my maths class. I hope after learning this topic, you will surely practice this at home. So, a first so, a first chapter is large numbers. I know you have already done this topic in grade third, but there you have worked with four digit or five digit numbers. Let us revise that with the help of an activity. Representing five digit numbers using an abacus. Here we will represent 38,712. For this we need a five spiked abacus and few baits. Read the digit at one's place, that is 2. Now put 2 red beads on the spike at one's place. Read the digit at tens place, that is 1. And now put 1 yellow bead on the spike at tens place. Now repeat the steps for the spikes at 100, 10, 100 and 10,000 place as shown in the picture. And ta-da! This is our final arrangement of the beads. Here, in this video, I am going to cover two topics. One, read and write six or seven digit number. Two, introduction of place value chart. We have already learned that 10,000 is smallest five digit numbers and 99,999 is the greatest five digit number. Now, let's see what comes just after 99,999. For this, let's add 1 into 99,999. By adding 1, we will get 1 lakh. 1 lakh is the smallest 6 digit number. And we also know the greatest 6 digit number is 9,99,999. Before this lockdown started, I wanted to buy a car. So I visited some online shopping sites to know the prices. Price of a car was rupees eight four five six seven eight. Other was of five two three zero two four. Wondering how to read these numbers? Now, don't you think it was easy to read four or five digit numbers in comparison to six or seven digit number? Isn't it? No, actually, it is not that difficult. It is very easy. I'll tell you how. We split a large number into periods or you can say into groups. Starting from the right, to make it easy, a six digit number has three periods. Once period, thousand periods and lakhs period. As you can see in the picture. The first three places from the right makes one period. The next two places makes the thousands period and the last two places makes lakhs period. Basically, we follow two number system. One is Indian number system. Second, international number system. Here in this video, I am going to cover Indian number system. This place value chart is representing Indian number system. So here, under ones period, we have three columns. One is for ones. And one is for tens and the third one is for hundreds. For thousands period, we have two columns, thousands and ten thousand. And for lakh also, we have two columns, lakhs and ten lakhs. Let's place the digit in the place value chart starting from ones period. Then place the digit in the thousand period. And next move on to the lakhs period. Why writing a number as per the Indian place value system separate the period with commas example please look at the screen 7 comma 16 comma 456 so we have separated using a comma according to the periods while reading a number always read from left to right read the number of each period and then say the name of the period after each number example 68 
comma seventy four comma five five six. That will become sixty eight lakhs seventy four thousand five hundred fifty six. I hope this video was helpful in understanding today's topic. You will be given a worksheet related to this, which you have to do in your notebook. Thank you.